What's up guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode here on FC24. We are now into season number two of this AC, AC Milan career mode and we are now one game into this season number two. We did play our first game already but we are now to the end of the summer transfer window. You can see we won our first game over Frozen on a 5-0. Serie A is not exactly too troubling for us for the most part. Obviously the main teams that we have to play against, Inter, Juventus, Roma, teams like that, they give us some trouble but a lot of the lower level teams don't really end up giving us a lot of trouble. So what I'm planning on doing for the rest of this career mode is going to be simulating some of the lower level games. I've been doing that in the in the last season, but we might end up simulating a little bit more uh, just so we can have, you know, maybe a little bit more of a difference in the fixtures, maybe some losses to some key opponents. We'll kind of see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. We haven't found our uh, found out our Champions League opponents yet, so we're going to continue to move forward. Also, with this summer transfer window coming to an end, you guys left your comments at the end of the last episode, and you don't feel like I really need to bring in anybody. I mean, there were some comments about bringing in some players in midfield um, and then maybe replacing some players if they leave, but hopefully no players leave. The only players that we're going to let leave from now on are going to be Leal or Teo Hernandez, and we'll only let them leave if we get an offer in from like a really big club like Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern, Man City, maybe some teams like that, PSG maybe. But besides that, we're probably not going to let them go. And I hope that we don't get any offers in for them for the rest of the window. So I don't really feel like we need to bring in anybody. I feel like we've got backups at every position. We've got a couple of great center backs, great wingers, great striker, great midfielders. And then we've got some formidable players down on the reserves as well. Hopefully some that we're going to still loan out or get rid of by the end of the window. Looking at Maldini and Colombo, hopefully getting them on loan. And then Giroud hopefully transferring out. But everybody else should stay besides the, you know, 64 and 62. We could just loan them out as well. But we'll see. We haven't gotten any offers in for anybody else as of right now. So we're just going to simulate to deadline day. We don't have a game before then. We have a game on the first. Barcelona coming in for Benacer. I did say Barcelona would be a team that we would, you know, entertain offers from. And it most certainly is an intriguing offer in terms of the cash. But he's not one of the players that I'm willing to let go of right now. Teo Hernandez and Leao are the only two. Not because I want to let go of them, but of course, because in real life, they are linked to go away from the club at some point, especially Leal. Maybe not as much to Hernandez, but Benacer, I don't want to let go of. $132 million would obviously be great. We could get more for him, actually, but we don't need the money. We've got plenty of money. Uh, we definitely don't need to worry about it at all. $324 million in the budget as of right now. So as far as bringing players in, we could bring in pretty much anybody in the world. We don't need more money. So Benacer will stay, again, like I said, Leal or... Uh, Hernandez can leave but we're now to deadline day so we're going to get through it and then I'll show you kind of the moves that we made as far as players going out and of course players around the world going to different places so let's get through the deadline day we get another offer in from Juventus this time for Benacer which we are definitely not going to do we would for sure not sell him to a rival club and then it looks like we have another ooh, not an offer here but a release clause that is meant for Adley which is interesting he's not a player that I used a lot last year uh in real life, I think he does get a lot of game time for AC Milan. So he's not necessarily a player that I want to see go, but I'm also not necessarily mad at it. Let's see what his value is. It's only 14 million, release clause of 21.3. Honestly, I mean, hopefully it doesn't make you guys upset. I am okay with letting him go so that we could potentially look to bring in another player to be a backup for us because it would be nice to have a better backup midfielder than Adley. So I am actually going to let that happen. If it does by the end of the window, we can bring someone in, then we will. Obviously, we've got Reinders and we've got De Ketelaire with Pobega and Lotus Cheek and Benacer. I still want one more midfielder. I know it sounds crazy that, you know, is, is good enough to play. So, Adley, if he leaves, not mad at it. Okay, and so with three hours left in the deadline day, it looks like the move actually does not go through. You see, Adley is not willing to make a move to FC20 over there in France, I believe. And then Chelsea coming in with, a, with an offer for Calabria. We're not going to let him go. It's hard to find really good Rybacks in this game. I mean, there are a lot of them, but I don't want to bring in one of like the top 10 world-class players. And I think Calabria has done well for us and did a very good job over at Ryback for us last season. So we're willing to keep him. He's also, you know, an AC Milan player in real life. He's more than likely going to stay there. I'm pretty sure he's been the captain for them before as well. So not a player that they would look to sell. And so that's going to be the end of deadline day. No moves made for us here on the very last day. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the big transfers that were made. So the biggest deal was, of course, Mike Magnon to Arsenal, $130 million. Insane for a goalkeeper to, for Arsenal to spend that much money on one. But, you know, that is what it is. Delict going to Aston Villa, which is very interesting. Looks like the Premier League is upgrading. Chuamini does make a move to Inter Milan, as well as Ja Felix to Roma. So some Italian clubs getting much better. A lot of other big moves that you can see here. 
Juventus, of course, got Chukweze from us, so that'll be interesting. Uh, João Neves makes a move to Real Madrid, which would be very interesting in real life. He's a player that, if Adley would have gone, I would have wanted to bring him in if he didn't move to Real Madrid. He would have been the perfect replacement for him. But looks like a lot of Italian teams are upgrading. Some of them getting rid of some players, but nothing too crazy. But yeah, anyways, that's going to be that for uh, the world and Europe and all of that. But for our club, you can see the moves that we made. Of course, Magnan leaving, Costa coming in for him. And then, of course, Chukweze leaving as well. Buongiorno coming in for us. We let Krunic uh, go out on a transfer. Gabia, Origi, Lazedic, Florenzi as well going out on transfers. But then on loan, we've got Zaroli, we've got Musa, we've got Vasquez, Kuypers, Traore, Jimenez. You can see the names here. Lots of young players moving on for the season to go uh, you know, get some experience. Hopefully... Romero, I'm really hoping that he grows over there at Brentford because he could be a very good winger for us for the future. But that's going to do it for uh, the window. Let's go ahead and take a look at these emails real quick. Ended up getting an offer for Solid Makers from Inter Milan. No, thank you. We are perfectly fine keeping him with the squad. And then as far as the Youth Academy goes, these are the players we have currently in it. I mean, this guy is a high overall, but very low potential. I mean, he's growing very well, to be fair. So, you know, it is what it is. I'll keep him on the team. Um, and if he wants to get called up at some point, we'll call him up. But then the rest of these players, hoping to see some good growth out of them. None of them are too impressive. This player right here, actually, Leo Longo, looks like he could be pretty good at some point. But I just don't know what position he would prefer to be in. Maybe CDM. He's got really good defense and good passing. So we'll switch into CDM just to see his shooting and stuff like that is definitely not very good. So we'll move him over there. But that'll be that for the Youth Academy for now. Let's go ahead and get into our first game of the episode. It is going to be against Udinese. They've got Otson Edward up top. They're running a 5-3-1-1 formation, which is obviously very defensive. So it'll be interesting to see how this game goes. All of our players have very low sharpness. Forgot to change their training plans, unfortunately. But this is the lineup we're going to go with. Pretty much the best 11 we can put out. Pobega, of course, 78 overall, but plays much better than a 78 overall. So we're going to keep him in the lineup. Udinese moving forward well. Pobega gives up a foul on the edge of the box. Definitely a very dangerous era, area to be giving up a foul. Free kick for Udinese. Edward with an amazing free kick. But Diego Costa with an equally as good save. They're going to have a corner here though. 13 minutes gone. So far we have not done anything. Udinese has been much better than us. I thought I was going to be heading that one back to Costa and he would collect. But clearly that did not work out. So... Another corner here, swinging this one in again. Teo Hernandez gets to it. Rafael Leal, I'm trying to just kick it away. Very easily. Could have been a penalty there. Udinese, good passing again. Player in the box. Buongiorno ooh, got in a good tackle initially, but the ball landed back at Fazzini's feet. Able to get a shot away as well, but luckily off the outside netting. Obega, good pass to Jimenez. Jimenez holding up play nicely. Finds Rafael Leal. Off his cheek now with it. Benacer to Elise. Good turn. Good shot. Great save, though. Calabria with a cross of dreams. Oh, Jimenez can't quite get to it. That would have been incredible. Ooh. Nice movement there by Hassan to get past Calabria. Tomori, though, going to get back. Going to get a tackle in there. 57 minutes gone now. I mean, we're still not able to break through their defense. Like I said, running a 5-3-1. Very defensive formation. Obega is going to get this ball over the top, though, to Elise. Ah, and another pass intercepted. Rafael Leal finds a run from Loftus Cheek and a move forward. Find a pass to Jimenez. And Jimenez will finish it off. 66 minutes gone. First goal of the game. Milan 1, Udinese 0. Still a clean sheet for Diogo Costa as of right now. Starting out the season with two would be very, very nice to see. Salamakers inside to Deketelaire. Who will find Okafor, who will fire it off the inside of the post and into the back of the net. 70 minutes gone. We made a five-man sub right after that last goal just to get some fresh legs on and get some players into the field. And it looks like it worked out very well. We're up 2-0 now. Good pass down there from Udinese. Hassan K. I'm not sure what his actual name is. But the pass inside. Tamori intercepts that ball, though. And it looks like we will be running away with this game. Only seven minutes to go. I don't know if there's too much more that they can really do. Okafor, the pass out here to Pulisic, who will get tackled. Ebosele down here on this wing. Teo Hernandez in front of him, does well. Pereira, though, now with it. 
just not a good decision to go for a shot there. 90 minutes gone. And that will be the final whistle as well. So that's three points in the bag, a 2-0 no win, firmly keeping our, st our spot in first place. All right, now we're to match day against Torino, but it looks like we've got a lot of emails about matches being rescheduled, which I'm sure is our Champions League group being decided. So let's go ahead and go take a look at that. And it looks like we will have a very intriguing group. Liverpool, us, Rangers, and FC Copenhagen in our group, which is, I mean, it's definitely not an easy group by any means. Rangers is a team I feel like I've come up with against an FC 24 so many times. Liverpool is obviously going to be a tough test. And then Copenhagen, I mean, obviously we're better than them, but I mean, in the Champions League, anything goes. It looks like Group A will be Arsenal, Bayern, Sporting, and then Salzburg. Group B, Leverkusen, Atletico, Ajax, Slavia, PSG, Roma, Galatasaray, and Shakhtar. And Group C, that's not an easy group by any means. Inter, Leipzig, Villarreal, and Sparta Praha. Our group. And then Barcelona, Dortmund, Monaco, and Celtic. That's a tough group. Man City, Napoli, Porto, and Athens in Group G. And then rounding out the Champions League, Group H, Real Madrid, West Ham, Marseille, and Anderlecht. So, you know, very interesting teams all throughout this uh, Champions League groups. I'm sure we'll see some big matchups there. But, of course, we got to try to get through the group this year. Last year, we weren't able to. So, Torino will line up as follows. Of course, Tia is a player that was, of course, on our team last year and now plays for Torino. So, it'll be interesting to come up against him. And then, of course, we're going to go with the same lineup for our team in this game. I don't really feel a need to change the team at this point just to get these players used to playing with each other. So, let's go ahead and get to it. Wow, Benacer gives up a foul on the edge of the box. I thought that was a pretty clean tackle. This time, we're not going to put anybody on the line. We're going to see if Torino goes for goal. I'm sure they will, and I'm sure they'll score this time, but we'll see. Oh, it looks like they're going to lay it off. Wow, Teo Hernandez running right into it, but not able to get it away completely. Oh, Pobega getting in a tackle on Illich. Nearly could have been a penalty again. Voivoda, I believe is how you would say that name. Pushing forward into the box. Calabria getting a toe in. Benacer not able to get it away. Illich still pushing forward. Going to get a shot away. Costa does have to make the save. 24 minutes gone. Oh, Loftus Cheek finishing off this great run of passing. Rafael Leal going to be able to go for the shot. He's never going to miss that one. 27 minutes gone. The counterattack off the corner was clinical. A 1-0 lead for Milan. Voivoda pushing forward again. Trying to keep Benacer in a pretty neutral position. Trying to cut off some passing lanes. Pellegri now with it. Benacer can't get the tackle in. Illich goes for a shot. Tamori gets in the way of it. Dangerous play there to pass it back to the keeper, but we do get it away. Jimenez over the top ball to Elise. Elise with a cross. Lost his cheek with the header. And it looks like it's going to go out for a goal kick. Great save. As well as a yellow card for Benacer for an earlier challenge. Oh, but Pobega will find Elise. And what a finish from Elise that is. Left-footed, firing into that top left corner. Obega able to touch that one down to himself. And then able to get that one to Elise as well. Great finish. Lazaro, good pass inside to Lee J. Sung. Good pass to Vlasic. Shot right at Costa. I believe that's the first save he's had to make. 71 minutes gone. Good pass inside. Lee J. Sung now looking for someone. Actually, he's going to go for the shot. It will end up back with them. Lazaro to Illich. Illich with a shot. Lee Jae Sung with a shot. And we do finally give up that goal after almost three full games played this season. Torino with the first goal of the year against us. Elise finds the run of Calabria. We're going to look inside for De Ketelaire. Left-footed shot. Charles De Ketelaire with his first goal in AC Milan uniform this season. Actually, maybe not his first. He might have scored in the first game. I actually don't remember. Hopefully his first, so that I didn't mess that up. It's 3-1. Lazaro inside to Sanabria. Oh, Tamori just falls down. Sanabria, oh my goodness, has so much strength. Somehow Kalulu is able to get it away. We're not going to give up a second goal. Not that it would have mattered too much, but that's going to be the end of the game here shortly. Jimenez, ah, trying to find the pass. Too loft his cheek, but that will be the final whistle. 3-1 win. Third win of the season. First goal given up, but... It is what it is. And so taking a look at the rest of the schedule for this month, we are going to get through this month fully. We're going to play the game against Inter and the Champions League game against Rangers. And then we will simulate the game against Monza as well as the first game of the month of next month against Cremonese so that we can, you know, kind of get through these months quicker. Uh, we're going to simulate a lot more league games this year, more than likely. I think I've decided that, you know, since we won the league last year, it's not exactly a priority for us to win it again this year, although I would love to. 
So yeah, we're going to simulate two games at the end of this episode, but first we're going to get through the Inter and Rangers game. So taking a look at the table, of course we're sitting in first place, but just barely. I figured we would be in first place on goal difference by a much bigger margin. But Sassuolo having a fantastic start to the season. Nine goals scored, only one allowed in their three wins. Lazio have also won all three games, but nobody else has won all three. It looks like Inter are sitting down in seventh place with a loss so far. Only four goals scored and three allowed, and a lot of teams not having great starts. I mean, Atalanta's all the way down in 17th, so... I'm sure they'll turn it around at some point, but let's go ahead and get into this game against Inter Milan. Their lineup will be as follows. Of course, Chiuamini, their big signing of the summer in midfield. They've got a very, very good team. It's always terrifying going up against them. And then we will have to make some subs, it looks like. Loftus-Cheek in midfield is still a little bit tired, apparently, from the last game, even though I think it's probably his training plan. And then Calabria, I will actually take out and put on Kalulu. We'll play Kalulu at right back because he is able to play there. And I think we'll stick with that for this game. A few players still tired. Might have to change up the training plans, but that'll be the lineup we go with. Martinez, pass to Turam, pass to Issy. And that's four minutes gone, and we're already down one now. The pace in this game so far, I mean in the 30 seconds that it's been going on, has been much quicker. And our defense gets caught out, already down one now. Obega going to have a nice ball through here to Elise. Going to turn it around quickly. Jimenez can't fire it into the back of the net. Obega on the edge of the box. Having to turn it around back to Benacer. Going to look through for Reinders. Who will fire Rafael Leal. Heavy touch. Great save. I'm telling you, the pace in this game is much different than our games in the past. Ugh, that pass is terrible by Leal. But Inter are so much quicker with the ball than the teams that we've played so far this season. Elise with a good tackle. Jimenez is going to find a pass to Rafael Leal. Can we find a pass over the top to Elise? Probably not our best option there. Obega is just not going to go for it, and we're going to get cleared away. Leal waiting for Teo Hernandez to overlap. Does so well, but can we find anyone? Back post, Elise. Wasn't really the greatest option. I was looking for somebody, you know, kind of more towards the middle of the six-yard box, but nobody was there, so couldn't find anyone. Leal chipping this one up. Jimenez is going to be there, but that header was terrible. Elise going to find a pass to Benacer. I'm going to look back over here on this right side for Kalulu. But not exactly the greatest player to have moving forward. He's much more of a defensive-minded player. Another corner here. I'm going to take this one short, I guess. Swinging in it has just not worked out for us. So Elise going to look for Rafael Leal. Crossing it in. Jimenez, header right to the keeper. Tries to go for it again. Izzy clears it away. And Bastoni will keep it from going out for another corner. Izzy with a nice pass inside to Celanoglu. Back out to Izzy. Great cross inside. Buongiorno is going to be there. Lautaro Martinez ends up with it, though. Oh, that is terrible clearing by Buongiorno. I mean, I get that it hit his chest. Kind of had no idea where it went, probably. Not exactly no idea, but it's not good defense. And a good finish by Martinez. 2-0 into Milan. It's going to be tough coming back from this one. But we will sure try our best. Teo Hernandez over the top to Rafael Leal. Going to need Reinders to make that run. He does so. Leal just going to get closed down. There's, there's not much we can do to break the wall down for Inter Milan. They have been incredible defensively today. Wow. Great passing again. Chumini finding DeMarco. Finding Latour Martinez. Oh my goodness, what a move that would have been. We're going to get some subs on. I tried to get them on like 15 minutes ago, and it didn't go through. So kind of, you know, too late at this point. They're going to have a corner now off of that Diogo Costa save. I was going to clear that one away. But that'll be pretty much the end of the game. I mean, that's a 2-0 no win for Inter. Our first loss of the season, so three points dropped. Not a great look, but, you know, in a rivalry game like this, it's not too crazy to see. But now we move on to the game that probably matters most in this episode, our first Champions League group stage game against Rangers. We know how good of a team they can be. We're going to go with our full starting 11 in this game, and I believe they are as well. Cantwell is obviously the player that has given us the most trouble throughout our time in FC24 facing Rangers. We face them in every career mode, I believe, to this point. So uh, we're very familiar with how they play. This will be our starting 11, the main starting 11 we've been going with. Last game we had to make a couple styles, but... Everybody is fit for this game, so let's get to it. And well, pushing forward early on in this game. Not able to get the ball off of him. Pobega just sticking on his back. 
Oh, Costa having to make a save. Seven minutes gone already, but still nothing showing for us at all. They've been pushing forward very well. Bobega's going to clear that away momentarily. Cantwell finds himself with it. Pass back inside, but Buongiorno does well. Elise is going to find Teo Hernandez out here. Whoever's at the back post is making a good run. Jimenez will find the back of the net and will finish that one off. Almost couldn't decide whether I was going to say finish or find there. But he'll collect it well off of the cross and fire it into the goal. 1-0 for us, surprisingly. Oh, Calabria just got taken out. That'll at least be a yellow. Um, Elise, I need you to come towards me. There's just nowhere to go with the ball. Pobega, though, inside to Elise, who will find Jimenez, but was offsides. And Tom Lawrence will get his yellow card for that challenge on Calabria. Lawrence going to skip past Calabria, though, now. Going to look for that cutback pass at some point. Finds it. Ooh, Danilo with the shot. Calabria does well to maintain position and get in front of that one. One Giorno, good pass to Lotus Cheek. We're going to pull that one back to Leal. Find Lotus Cheek again. Going to go for the shot. Wow, not a bad effort from Lotus Cheek. Going to hit the crossbar. I don't think we're going to end up with it. They're going to clear it out. But man, what a finish that would have been. Teo Hernandez getting caught out. Nowhere to be found. He's tracking back. But Juan Giorno is going to skip right past Haji. Oh, gets a tackling on Danilo, though. Very lucky to track back there. 45 minutes gone. That'll be the end of the first half. Still a 1-0 lead, but I do not feel comfortable at all. Danilo finding a pass to Haji. Back to Cantwell. I mean, they're just... Rangers are so good. I don't know if they're just like a bogey team for me or what. Luckily, we're getting a tackle in there. Elise, we're going to try to find Jimenez. We sort of do. Kind of regains his footing. We're going to look back for Elise. Inside to Leal. Leal's got room to run. It's going to miss the target completely. I mean, that's got to be two. Cantwell is going to get a yellow card as well, but we've got to finish that one off. Lawrence inside to Raskin. Raskin going to get tackled by Benacer, but Gray will end up with it now. Aji pushing forward. Trying to keep our midfielders closer to the defense. To keep some pressure on them. Costa with the save. Teo Hernandez will get it away. 69 minutes gone now. We're going to go ahead and get a three-man sub off. Or sub on, I guess. Jimenez coming off for Okafor. Leal coming off for Pulisic. And Decatelera is going to come on for Pobega. You know, I don't necessarily feel great about taking off. Jimenez and Leal, but that's just what we got to do. Pulisic going to find a pass in here. Through to Okafor, though. We're going to keep that one inbounds. I'd rather not have the corner, to be fair. Elise, right-footed shot. Now we're going to have a corner. We're going to swing it in with Elise as well. Nobody on our team is there. But Buongiorno is going to nod that one back to Loftus-Cheek. We're going to look back out for Elise. And it looks like that's going to be a handball, so an even better opportunity for us here. A free kick. Can Elise find the back of the net? I doubt it, but we'll see. We're going to go with three bars of power. Oh my goodness! We finally did it! We finally scored a free kick in a career mode. First time this entire year for FC24. And it is Elise from that right wing. Swinging that one into the top right corner. I mean, that is a beautiful free kick. Weird animation for him. I'm not sure if that's how he takes free kicks in real life. But that is an insane finish, and Jack Butlin can do nothing about it. 2-0 AC Milan over Rangers. The kettle air, what a pass. Loft his cheek. The team has opened up. Rangers have fallen apart here in the last few minutes. That's three now. Loft his cheek with a goal. De kettle air with a beautiful pass. I mean, to be fair, there was almost no way lots of cheek wasn't going to finish that one off. I mean, look at the run he made. Could have been offsides. Thought he was after I made the pass, but what a finish. 3-0. That's more than likely three points in the bag. This is very nice to see. Haji with it. Pass to Komen. Komen's going to take the shot. Haji's going to end up with it again. Diogo Costa. Not going to be able to stop that one from going in. So it is going to be a 3-1 victory for us here. Very unfortunate. But that will be the final whistle. So no matter what, you know, I wish we wouldn't have given up the goal for the goal difference. But a pretty good result nonetheless. So I'm not upset by it. And now we are going to simulate the next two game. An away game against Monza and another game against Cremonese. They're actually both having pretty good starts to the season. So they're actually sitting in 7th and 8th place, which is not much lower than what we are. But like I said, we're going to continue to simulate games, uh, unfortunately, even if they are in good spots. 
uh, we have to just to keep the series moving along. So we are going to simulate this next game. I am going to get Elise off for Solid Makers, get him a start in the league. We're going to get Pobega off for Rinders and Loftus Cheek off for De Ketelaire. I'm actually going to switch those around. And then I think that's the lineup we'll go with. We'll actually get Kalulu on it right back as well. And then we'll go with that lineup for this game. I want to get Christian Pulisic a start as well, so he'll start the Cremonese game instead of Leal. But we will go ahead and simulate this one first. Monza's lineup goes as follows. Saar in midfield, probably their best player, but not too sure. We'll go ahead and simulate this game, hit a quick sim, and hopefully get a good result. A 2-1 win, Rafael Leal and Jimenez with the goals. Demirovic with the goal for them. And now we'll get into the Cremonese game to simulate this one as well. This will be their lineup. I am 100% not familiar with any of these players. I'm not sure if they're very highly rated at all. But we got a couple of rotated players in for this game. We're going to get Pobega back in midfield, but we're going to get a start for Pulisic out on the left wing. We're also going to start Jarrell Hato at that left center back position to see if he can, you know, stay up here with the big boys and play in the big leagues. It looks like he did decently well. They got a red card in the 71st minute. Jimenez scores. Elise scores. And Jimenez scored again. So he's having a fantastic start to the year. That's going to be three more points for us. So five wins from six games, I believe, so far this season to start off. Only one point behind Lazio in first place. But we're doing very well. So that will be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like the video. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will show you the squad stats uh, just before we leave. Loftus-Cheek already has five assists, which is just crazy. And no one else has more than two. So. He's having a great start to the year, as well as Jimenez, Leal, Elise. Our front three are looking very good. So that's where we're at for now. Uh, at the beginning of the next episode, we will play our game against Bologna. We will play Liverpool, and we will play Napoli. And then I think we'll simulate Cagliari and play Copenhagen. And that'll probably be it. I don't think we'll simulate any other games. We might actually simulate the Bologna game just so we can get the Bologna game and the Cagliari game just so we can get to the Juventus game as well. And then go from there. But we'll see. So, again, hope you guys enjoy. Please be sure to like the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.